All right, Panther fans, hockey fans, how's everybody doing today? It is it is Friday, the Friday before. It's Friday. It is the Friday before the, the, the last fake game, and then the real games start on Thursday. Before we get started, please make sure you hit like button, subscribe, subscribe. I'm, I'm at 5,700, and... I don't know what I'll do if I don't get the 10,000 subscribers by the end of the season, but it's going to be bad. It's so I'm, I'm going to hold the entire planet hostage until we get to 10,000. Let's get 10. So please do me a favor there and check out flyingfluffy.com as well. Um, eventually, a few of the eight people that um, eventually other people will write. We'll just leave it at that. I'm, I'm in a pissy mood. I'm a little bit frustrated this morning, but that's an entirely different situation. Dude went to the game last night, the hockey game. That's why we're here. That's what – shut up, Jaws. We're here to talk about the hockey game. Dude went to the game. Panthers won three to two. I'm going to shut up and give Stu the mic. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is the logo, boys and girls. My son and I were observing the <laughs> – from the suite, I could never see the retirement jerseys, but um, last night I was sitting in different seats. Thank you, Karen. Um, so we had a, not a debate, but basically he said he's not comfortable with the new logo. Quote, unquote, it, the, the cat looks too wimpy. So right. I guess I'll put it out there to everybody to comment on which logo do you prefer? Um, I always like the original logo with the crack stick, but I think I might have explained to people in previous videos. I think the word came down from Bettman that San Jose had come into the league a year before us, and their logo was the shark biting the stick. And right. I, I'm pretty sure that's the reason we had to get rid of that. All right. Anyway, right. moving on. So observations from last night. Obviously, it was really great to be back in the arena, the atmosphere. I mean, the place was half empty. Um, one thing that, that, that I noticed, they made improvements on the lighting. And I also think they used a brighter white on the ice because it definitely huh. looks brighter and whiter. Okay. okay. That's good anyway. news for my eyes. <laughs> it was great. So... Another observation is the music sucks. It's too loud and it's just, all right, getting that negative away. All right, so there was no Bennett, no Kachuk. Um, no Verhage. No Verhage, no White, um, no Cousins. No Lomberg. Uh, kind of, Lomberg, yeah. Kind of weird yeah. seeing this guy Mathau out there and um, Dalpy, who played excellent. I mean, the Panthers came out flying in the first period. They were totally dominating Tampa, hitting, forecheck. I mean, players, you know, forwards were coming back. The defense was solid. Um, I mean, there's so much to talk about. So where do I start? Um, well, let's start with Forsling Eckblad. Light years better than Eckblad Uyghur. You know, if we had a freaking coach that had, you know, listened to me, that had not even listened to me, that that at least gave that pairing a try. Who knows what would have happened last year? Right, right. You know, maybe maybe we wouldn't have had uh, the flubs that that Uyghur made three point eight seconds because Forsling is a much smarter player, much better skater player. He just he just has hockey IQ. He's solid. Ekblad looked so much more comfortable playing with him. Um, there were a couple of occasions where I saw Ekblad went in offensively and Forsling was right behind him, covering right. for him. Right. So um, that pair is going to do a lot of stuff. Yep. Yep. Second observation is um, Montour quarterbacking the power play. It's another thing that we've talked about. Um, yep. I think that's going to, um, you know, once once the regulars that are on the first unit start playing with each other, that being, you know, Kachuk and Reinhardt and Barkoff and whoever, 
Montour and Eckblad, I think we're going to be okay there. Um, I really liked, like I said, the aggressiveness in the first period. I don't know what happened in the second period, but they just let off the gas. Tampa, at some point, had taken control. But what happened was in the second period, Dalpy, and I forget who it was, had a fight. I think it was Perry. It was either Perry his that helmet, he or go ahead. His helmet was pulled off. And whoever it was, Perry or whoever, threw him down to the ice and he hit the back of his head. And I told my son right then and there, yep. you know, he's, he's hurt. Yep. You could see it. So, of course, he went to the box. A couple of the players went over to him. And then a, the referee went over to him and right. concussion protocol. He never returned to the game. Right. So I'm kind of I'm worried about what happened to him. Yeah. I like the play of Hepo Niemi with Barkoff and um, – and, um, Last night was Reinhardt. Reinhardt, yes. Yeah. Um, the kid looked good. I mean, yeah. it's funny how, you know, I kind of thought it might be Lundell, you know, the Finnish connection, but right. I, I'm okay with – Hepo Niemi, give the kid a shot. I, it's Listen, it's do or die time for him. Yes. He's either going to make it or they're going to trade him because I don't see uh, how many more years can he play in the NHL. Right. So, uh, oh, we go. So we got Stahl and Montour on the second. I knew Montour was going to move up to second D. Um, obviously, we, we, you and I both talked about Carlson and Montour, but Right. I'm okay with Stall and Montour yeah. because there again, you have the offensive-minded Montour and the defensive-minded Stall, and then of right. course Boston and Gudis. Yeah, I thought the defense played good. Bob was on. Yeah. Yep. From from the get go, um, the goal that we scored, um, you know, bang bang play, and that that's the way to beat Vasilevsky, man. Shoot it off his pads and yeah. just bang in the rebound. Um, what else? But Tampa came back. The Panther killer is Kucherov. Mm. And that guy, he's just really good. Yeah. No, I hate I hate him, but respect him for his talent. And Braden Point, those were the two standout yeah. players for me for Tampa. Um, Vasilevsky made some good saves, but I don't really think he was tested as much as he could have been. Um, the power play needs work, um, but I, 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 I liked what I saw for the players that were playing. Um, Kirstead, the final verdict is not in for Kirstead yet. No, I, I have a feeling that uh, even though Kirstead was in last night, I think if somebody gets hurt on defense, I think you'll see Delzato first before Kirstead. So that's just from what I've seen anyway. Yeah, I think they went with 7-D last night. Yeah, yeah, because Sourdiff was supposed to play, and he's banged up too. So, I mean, we, we went well 11-7 because we legit didn't have 12 healthy forwards. Yeah, I mean, we have a bunch of players, man, that are out. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But it was, good to, it was good to go to the game. I, um, I saw Randy. Um, I went up to... It's just weird, man. I went up to the uh, to the company suite, and the name is off the, the placard there. And yeah, yeah. It's actually, it's actually an open house last night, so there was a whole bunch of people in. But it's weird going into that suite and not, and you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I did see Randy. Um, I need to uh, just mention to everybody and offer condolences to, to Goldie. Steve Goldstein's father passed away. Oh, jeez. So, um, I did not know for that. that. But Randy said that, um, you know, he wants to come back on our show here. And yeah, yeah. Just have to arrange a time. I know you were talking about maybe getting Billy to, to you know, have the two of them on at the same time. We'll see if their schedules. Uh, yeah, work. yeah, we'll do a. Yeah, we'll do a. But we I can. think I think we'll do. Um, we'll at least do the Randy one after the last. Uh, after the after last the last exhibition game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, so. That's about it. I mean, I don't know what else I'm missing. The crowd, you know, like I said, it was a sparse crowd last night. Very surprising. I kept and looking for you because 
Um, much like the Nashville feed, uh, every time there was a break in the action, the stream was cutting to people in the stands. And it seems as though they pretty much got every single person in the arena except for you on camera multiple times. Now, it's probably because you weren't like everybody else where I don't understand when you, you the camera's on you. So you got to jump up and do something stupid that you would I'm on never, my phone. Ever I'm do. on my phone. Te- I'm on my phone texting you. Oh, but that that's my favorite thing is the people that see themselves on the screen so they immediately pick up their phone to take a picture of themselves but they block their face with the phone while they're taking the picture it's the dumbest thing i've ever seen did you ever see did you ever see the video from it was taken from the broadcast after i had had my next surgery i was still working for the team and i went to the la game and i went to the anaheim game and basically that they panned in on me Right. To say, you know, there's Stu, you know, welcome yeah. back, blah, blah, blah. And I'm on my phone. <laughs> yeah, on your phone. <laughs> I'm on my well, phone texting. Yeah. Um, anyway. Doug and Billy said, hey, tweet us, tweet at us. And maybe they were going to put some tweets on during those breaks, but they, they didn't, they didn't do it. They didn't put anybody's tweet on. So, but that's problems for another day. I'm, I'm my condolences as well to, to Steve Goldstein. I had not, I'm not on Twitter as much because I, I, um, it wasn't, a, it wasn't on I, Twitter. I value Rand, my Rand, sanity. Rand, Rand, Randy told me. I see. Okay. So, um, um, yeah. But so. Um, I have now thought about it. I know you said the Panthers are going to have a slow start. I'm going to counter that and tell you I don't think so. Now, you just agreed with me one video ago. Now, yeah. we have you on but, film but, agreeing. But, 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 and dis- but, you see what Stu, hold on, time. You see what Stu is doing here. We have him on camera agreeing with me and disagreeing with me. So, no matter what happens, Stu's going to say, I told you. <laughs> well, okay. So, let me go on record. This is your with final a, with, shot. With a, with a caveat if the Panthers play like they did in the first period for 60 minutes, and Bob plays the way they that that he has been playing. Right. The Panthers are going to finish with either 108 or 110 points, and I think they'll either be one or two in the division. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going okay. on record. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I I'm I'm going to do this by memory. Um, I did my season, my final season preview. I think last week. I believe when it all added up, it was 108 points. And I've been saying, I believe, I could be wrong there, but it was, it was something about that, 108, 110, I think. Um, but I got a second or third because I, I'm convinced that Toronto is going to do exactly what the Panthers did last season. They may not win the President's Trophy. That might actually go to Colorado or Calgary. But I think Toronto is going to be this year's Panthers where they just outscore all their problems when the division finally went around and then we're going to beat them in the second round of the playoffs. That's what I, I saw got. something this morning where they had Boston ahead of us and they had us finishing fourth. Anyway, that's, I'm just that's saying haters. That's and haters. again, I'm saying this with a disclaimer that they got to play like they did in the first, they look great in the first period. They had a lot yeah. of jump. I mean, they can't, right. <laughs> excuse me. They came out from the opening whistle ready to play. Yeah. So again, it's all contingent on that. But um, what did you have them at? 11? You had them at 11 wins? I think I did it by 20 games. And if if memory right. serves me correctly, I think I had them something about 11, 6, and 3. Something about that. So, I think in, they win. It, I think they win at least thirteen games. Okay. We'll see. Like, look, I, I'll agree maybe if, maybe if, even fourteen games. They need they need a good start in the first five games, seven games. That will be a kind of a barometer on right. where they're where they're going the first twenty games. And I I haven't looked at the schedule so. I don't really know. I know we play the Islanders on opening night. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know a few people have said that the start of the schedule is easy. 
I don't, I don't, I'm not, anytime that you base what you're going to do with your schedule this year, based on how teams were last year, it's, it's usually a recipe for failure because, you know, teams, I mean, look, the Islanders playing them the first half of the season last year was a completely different team than playing them in the second half. Yeah. Of the they season. played all the like 13, 14 right. games away. Right, right, right. So, you know, um, but yeah, anybody that's got Boston finishing ahead against uh, above Florida is that's that's not that's just a troll job. There's there's nobody that can legitimately believe that. And if they do, well, I've got a I've got a bridge to sell you on the moon, and I've got a uh, a Dan Marino rookie card signed by Elvis as well. That's on my eBay store. So another factor that's going to come into play is the health of the team and injuries. Yeah. So, I mean, that that's that that's a big fact. I was really disappointed that I didn't get to see Kachuk last night. Yeah. Um, Kachuk and Bennett. Oh, let's talk about Lundell, Luz Duran, and... Uh, and Balsas. And Balsas. Yeah. My opinion, they were pressing too much. Luz Duran yeah. especially. Yeah, it's almost that. exactly. I don't know if you noticed that on TV. Yeah, um, it's what I said. On it's actually almost verbatim what I said in the recap last night. I thought Los Duran had a good night. I think Lundell was just trying too hard, trying to do too much. There was a few times where he should have just shot the puck, and he was taking too many passes. Yeah, so, they were. They, they, yeah. they, you know, that's always seems to happen. But I, I, I'll tell you, and then I, I sat on the defensive side for once, because I'm usually on, you know, the Panthers shoot twice size. And both Braden Point and Kucherov are really great hockey players. Yeah. Kucherov especially. That second goal was just perfect pass. Yeah. Perfect pass. And then Chinov, where did, I think he used to play for Washington, right? Nemetsky, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, Nemets, Nemets- Nemetsikov. So, yeah, yeah neither one whatever. of us can say it. <laughs> now, another thing is, I didn't see Sergachev, and I heard after the game something that Sergachev got hurt during the game. Um, I don't know when that might have happened, but I yeah, think old- if it happened, it happened early in the game because I didn't see, you know, I didn't see him out there. Right. No, I didn't. I didn't hear that. I did not hear that, but they didn't do like, they didn't do uh, intermissions. So like when, when the, as soon as the game period was over, it was just the, we're coming back. It was basically a blank screen. So they, they weren't filling that time. And I, I know a few people were curious about Colin White. He didn't play last night. So, you know, Stuart really hasn't seen him play. Um, no, Mike on the stream mentioned last, a couple of people on the stream mentioned that if, if, if we wave him, if somebody claims them, we're out of that contract, and that could fix our cap issue. The other thing is, if you waive them and nobody claims them, um, and then we send them down to the minors, it significantly alters his cap hit. So that's an, that's another thing. You know, I didn't really take that into consideration when I was considering how can we fix the cap because you figure white. Dulcers, cousins, we just signed those guys, so you wouldn't be thinking that we'd be waving them. Um, but with Hepo Niemi's play, I think it's worth the shot to wave Colin White. I don't know if anybody's going to take him. It's a 1.2 hit. It's just a one-year deal. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody might be willing to take a shot at him. If, if we could get lucky and get out of that contract, and put Hepo Niemi up there it would be just it would be just the right amount of money to to fit one more guy to fit one more guy on the roster uh, so we could have 13 forwards instead of 12 but past that we're gonna have to do so I have a feeling that you know somebody said they saw Hornquist on the ice in like a track suit he was just skating in a track suit warming up like that and it reminded me of when Tampa did the whole thing with Kucherov and everybody was complaining that, hey, he's in uniform, he's skating with the team, he should be ready. 
And I just kind of wonder if the Panthers already know they're going to put Hornquist on LTIR. And they're like, don't put on the uniform. Go out there in, in the tracksuit. Now, I don't know if he's since then put on a uniform or anything like that. But to me, it seems like if he hasn't been healthy enough to even really practice out there yet and, and the season starts in a week, it seems to me like you might at least start off with him on LTIR. And then and then go from there and and see we'll see what else happens, um, because if you start him on LTIR, you know if he doesn't get better. And the other thing, and then I want to hear your your take on this. I didn't even it didn't even dawn on me. But let's say Hornquist is her right, and you put him on LTIR. That actually gives us money to bring Duclair back if he gets healthy January or February. I hadn't thought about the math that way, so I'll give you. Depending on what's up with Hornquist, we don't even know. Has anybody found out what's wrong with him? The the what they the the word is he's he's dealing with some issues. Yeah, phantom issues. Right. One player. Right. One player that we haven't mentioned, Eric, which I need to mention, is Eric Stahl. Okay. Now I zeroed in on Eric Stahl last night. I think Eric Stahl is going to make the team. Did Eric Stahl play last night? Both I know. Stahl, bro. Both Stahl. Both? He was number 12. Yep. Yeah? Yep. I believe and he looked, you. He looked, I didn't, pretty, he looked pretty good. I know. His, I know. I know Mark Stahl played. Yeah. Okay. And I like that pairing, by the way. Stahl looked, he looked pretty That's solid. That's right. It was Mark. Stahl with Tyranny. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. So oh, then look. there was that that kid number eight, Matthew, Matthew. I don't know. Where May, he May, Mayhew. 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 I never heard yeah. of him. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we had to call up. We had to call up a few people because of, of the injuries. Um, yeah, Dalpy. I'm really bummed out about Dalpy because he yeah, looked yeah, really yeah. good. That first period, scored yeah. the goal. Sucks, man. It sucks when a player gets hurt like that. Right. And, no, and it really stupid. sucks that a guy doesn't have a helmet and the guy he's fighting or tangling with purposely throws him down to the ice. Yeah, it was a, it was rough. It was rough. Yeah. There's just no doubt um, about that. Look, coaches said, I mean, I I knew it from day one when I when when they asked the coach about Eric Stahl and he got this gleam in his eye and he said, "Well, oh, he has a genuine opportunity." You could just tell he wants him on this team, and unless Stahl just really blew it, he was he was going to so to to fit Stahl and Eponiemi on the roster. Warren Quest has to go on LTIR. Or, because, or like you said, somebody like a Colin White or whoever. Enough, it doesn't. It doesn't make enough space. Yeah, it doesn't clear enough space because we're. Well, maybe it would. Let's see, because we are. I don't know, but down, it's look. It's looking more it and more might. like you said. It's looking like Hornquist is going to be put on LTIR. Yeah, it actually well, might. Well, who it, knows? It's, it's 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 such it's so tight. I mean, we're down to literally. Remember last year. When we were looking at the contract Zito was giving out, and it was like ah, a half million too much, half million too much. Well, that's coming back to bite us in the ass right now because that's literally what we're short is we just need like two more half millions and we'd be good to go, but we don't have yeah. it. All right. <laughs> so, so at least we at least we locked up, you know, we locked up some, you know, some oh yeah. For the team. Yeah. Um yeah. I'll just go back to the beginning because I know we're winding it down. Ekblad looks really good. He looks yeah, yeah, yeah. If he can stay healthy this year, that kid's getting at least 15, maybe 20 goals. Like I said, there's no reason why he can't score 10 goals on the power play if they get right. the power play together. And I, and I, I will I tell you on there weren't a lot of power plays last night. That that's one point that I, I made right. to my son. And they had the Barkoff line with Montour and Ekblad out there. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, you know, of course, Bennett wasn't playing and Kachuk wasn't playing. So I would assume that, you know, that power play unit. And again, I don't know if it's going to be, I mean, 
if it's Barkoff and Kachuk and Montour and Ekblad, that leaves one more forward. Is it Bennett? Is it Reinhardt? Obviously, Probably it's not going to be Hornquist. Yeah. So who is it going to be? Right. One of yes. those guys is not going to play. I'm thinking it's going to be Reinhardt. Yeah. Mainly for his hand-eye coordination in front. Yep. And and Kachuk and Reinhardt, they're very tenacious in front yeah. of the net. Yep. So that's my prediction on the first unit. Right. Um, right. Forsling, you know, again, I'd like to see, you know, Forsling be given a shot at Q at quarterbacking it, but I'm perfectly fine with Montour yeah. at the right point and Ekblad again at that left point. And, you yep. know, you know, we had a, we, we had a coach that really didn't know what he was doing and didn't make any adjustments last year. Right. But after seeing Forsling and Ekblad, which, you know, everybody oh, yeah. knows on this mm-hmm. channel, yep. I pretty much said it every video, why is Forsling not playing with Ekblad? And, you know, it cost us, no doubt. Weger no doubt. and Ekblad and Forsling and Ekblad, to me, night and day. And again, I also made the point of the lefty righty combo. Yeah. Yeah. Which is no, big. Just, so those, those, those guys, they've only played with each other really a short period of time this year. Just wait till they get in the groove. Yep. They're still they're still feeling themselves out, but Ekblad looks very comfortable playing with Forsling. Yeah, absolutely. That's the exact And that's all word. I got. I mean, yep. the jury's yep, not man. out on Maurice as a coach. We'll just see. Again, we didn't have all our regulars in there. So right. curious no. to see who's in the starting lineup opening night. Hopefully I'll be able to go opening night. And then, you know, we do our first review of a real game. Yeah. With that, with all the, you know, the players. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll we then we'll see because we still uh, had you know we still had some rookies you know out there or players out there that are fighting for jobs and right 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 who who knows Dalpy I think could make the team but again you well, take Dalpy over yeah. you take Dalpy over Hepimni I'm telling no, you no, this no. is this is do or die make it or break it time for Hepimni I he's everything either, he's either I gonna yeah. make the team. Right. I hate to We're, say I'd hate to see him be given away for nothing. No, no, no. We 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 have a need on the top line next to Barkov desperately right now. There's no reason not to give that kid a shot. Because if he can't make it now, he he ain't gonna make it. You know, you know what I mean? I mean, we we've got the glaring hole right there. And I I think I think Maurice is gonna do it. I think after last night. Just being able to bury that puck as soon as it was on his stick, and and he made a few other plays, putting across in front. I mean, he, he looked he looked. He, if if he's not he, going to be he ready looked, now, he what more hung, is he, he going to do? Yeah. He looked hungry, and he yeah. played on the power on the uh, penalty kill with Barkov, and they you know they right. they look good together. I don't know why it wasn't Lundell and Barkov, but whatever. Probably just wants this coach wants to see. Wants to see if he could put Heponiemi out there and uh, how, he, how he'd do. So, I, oh, that, one more it, observation. Yep. Sure, sure. Because I know you've been making a point of saying it, and I know other people are making a point. Barkov definitely looks jacked up. Yeah. Yeah. Billy said it on the, on the broadcast last night. He said that he hadn't been standing next to Barkov for some time because of the pandemic and, and everything else like that. He said he's a monster. He's just like a beast. That he's he's what we saw on TV was was not the camera adding twenty pounds. He's beefed up, so yeah. that's good. That's good. He to needs see. to be, you know. And he probably said to himself how he got manhandled in the playoffs. Yeah, and, yeah. and enough with enough with that shit. Enough with that shit. Exactly. You know? I'd like to see him be more aggressive. Hitting wise, because he's never really been one of those go in the corner and you know be an animal hitting people. Right, it's just not hasn't been his style. Right, but if he could add that dimension to his play. So anyway, right. and like I, I think I said already, Bob, Bob made some great saves, and um, it's good to get the win. 
Yep, yep, we're, we're getting ready. All right, everybody, we really appreciate it. Today, Friday, the game, I think the game tomorrow, from memory, I believe it's four o'clock, but four whenever the game yeah. yeah. Oh, so, Eric, you didn't yeah. mention anything about Flying Fluffy merchandise. I got to tell you guys, there's some cute <laughs> stuff now. I love, I, I want the t-shirt with the caricatures of us. Yeah, I really yeah. like, I really like the Jostradamus mug. So yeah. um, listen, yeah. besides hitting subscribe and liking, you know, support this channel, guys. You know, Eric works his, his yeah, Eric works work. really hard to work. put out work. daily content for you guys. You know, support him by maybe buying a t-shirt or a mug and, you know, whatever else he's got out there. Because yeah, I, I appreciate that. This, I actually, is his, this, is his, this is his livelihood. So yeah. And Eric's I, not gonna Eric's not gonna come out and say that, but I can. It's not yeah. my channel. It's his no, channel. He's 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 not wrong. Um yeah, I'd like to at least break even. I, I paid I paid somebody 50 bucks on Fiverr to create a a caricature of Kachuk in the style of Pokemon because everybody talks about Pikachu. And I said, well, what about Pikachu? And uh, so I, I, I'd like to sell enough of those to be revenue neutral. So there's a link in the description to the Teespring store. Check it out. And I, I do have to do a better job of promoting this stuff. But I, have, I get so much support with the Patreon and YouTube membership. I feel yeah, I'll, 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 yeah. I'll do it for you. I'm a salesman. Yeah, he's a salesman. Anyway, yeah. let's say, listen, we're at 5,700. Let's get yeah. to 6,000. All let's right, guys. Yeah. If you're not subscribing to the channel... You like the content, all it takes is click simple click of click. subscribe. Yep. And of course, comments. All right. Want to hear some comments? I, I really am curious to see what you guys what you who likes the old logo, who likes the new logo. And don't tell me you want that jet blue jerk. My son mentioned something. Oh, I I, I like those blue tips. Like that was like the wimpiest. That looked like a bear, not a panther. Yeah. So I don't want to hear about that. So it's either this, the leaping right. panther, the ferocious panther. Yeah. Or the, wimpy, or the constipated panther. Yeah, the wimpy yeah. panther. Anyway, yeah. that's it, guys. All right. All right, guys. We appreciate it. We'll see you again later.